Hey guys, it is 5.19 in the morning. Was this look worth staying up till 5 o'clock in the morning? Hey guys, welcome back. We are collaborating with Tina today. Make sure to check out her channel and her warrior princess look. Her links are going to be down below. So jumping into my look, let's just keep in mind that it was about like 5.30, 4 or 5.30 in the morning when I was filming this. So my eyelashes are half on and um, I don't know where my brain is. So <laughs> I hope that you guys can follow along. We're just starting off with the brows. I'm filling them in with my um, brown pencil from Benefit and this is in the number four. I'm leaving them nice and bushy but still thick and kind of put together. I know that was a little bit of an oxymoron but we're making it work. And then I'm just going to prime my eyes with my Too Faced primer, eyeshadow primer and then shape out the brows only the bottom with my Tarte Shape Tape and then use this as a base for my eye. I then took just a um, matte shadow. You can use a translucent powder or just like a matte cream shadow um, and just set all of that right there. I'm going to be using two palettes in this video. I'm using the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and the new Tarte Toasted palette, which you'll see in just a second. You can kind of use either or. I just kind of wanted to see how they looked together and they're kind of similar to each other but anyways we're using um just a color i believe eden in the crease as a transition color and then this beautiful orange color on the outer corners and then we're going into the tart toasted palette into this dark orangey red color into the inner and outer corners and then this color which i think is called duo from the huda beauty palette and we're just using that in the outer corners and then a shimmery color right here on the center of the lid and Tarte Toasted Palette also has one similar to this as well. Um, I'm just spraying my brush to get it to stick a little bit better and then I absolutely was obsessed with the way that this Stila Glitter looked on top. Oh, so pretty. I then took just another transition color from the Toasted Palette and um, then yeah, shaped out the brows a little bit, you know? And then for highlight around the eyes, I'm also using this as a highlight on my face. I'm using the Ofra highlighter right here. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's going to be down below as all the information will be. I'm going to move on to my face using the Optical Illusion Primer from Urban Decay and then my YSL All Hours Foundation. I do have a review on this on my channel mixed with the Cover Effects Rose Gold Drops. So I'm highlighting my face with the Tarte Shape Tape. Blending it out with a beauty blender. And then we're going to move on to some powder. I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Is it Sweet Peach palette? Before um, I set my face, I did add a little bit more of a highlighter. But I'm using the Peach Twist. Is that what it said? <laughs> Guys, I suck at my voiceovers. We know this. I'm just going to set my whole face. And then I'm bronzing up my face with this Maybelline Bronzing Palette. Which I ended up really, really loving after this tutorial. So I'm just getting bronzer all over my face, contouring my nose, and then adding that Ofra highlight again just to my cheeks. Such a beautiful highlight. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and then we're going to be applying some lashes. These are the Huda Beauty Lashes in Jade, and we're applying just a little bit, a bit, a bit of a purple shadow underneath my eyes, the steel glitter in the inner corners, and then for lips to almost finish this look, we're using the Bow and Arrow from... Kat Von D and Subculture Lip Liner from MAC and then I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette just to draw on a couple few like paint marks um, and yeah we're gonna go from there we kind of came up with like a warrior meets grunge fortune teller type look and I did end up really liking it but use it how you may and uh, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more Halloween tutorials, let me know what you want to see by commenting below. What's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed this 
look, whatever it may have turned out to be. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe right here. And don't forget to check out all of my other Halloween videos right here. I'll see you guys tomorrow.